Let me just tell you where Republic Media Network is broadcasting right now from. We are in Kharkiv. Uh, uh, this is the place where uh, we, it is roughly around uh, morning. Uh, and uh, we've been told that there have been certain explosions around the city of Kharkiv uh, from where we are broadcasting right now. Uh, in fact, there were certain explosions that uh, where, where uh, locals have been telling us that it's uh, closer. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that uh, it is, hasn't really come across as a surprise uh, to many uh, who were waiting for this uh, uh, full-scale invasion orders to really come in for the troops of uh, Russia. And that's exactly what has really happened. The playbook was very clear right from the time uh, that we have seen uh, an intense clash that took place in the breakaway regions of Donetsk and uh, Lugansk. In fact, Lugansk from where we were reporting uh, late last evening, there too we were given to understand that explosions took place in the Ukraine-controlled Lugansk area. Uh, in fact, uh, we were the only global channel to actually reach the very area that is basically controlled by what we are being told uh, uh, by Ukraine and the other side. other side was completely controlled by the Russian rebels where there have been intense uh, clashes that have actually taken place in the Luhansk area. Uh, in fact, reports were also su suggesting that uh, the area which was earlier controlled by the Russian rebels, uh, there Russian troops had already entered even in Donetsk, that the other breakaway region where we are being told uh, that the Russian troops have already entered. There have been certain clashes uh, with the Ukrainian army. Having said that, the U uh, Ukrainian army so far has denied that from their side uh, they have opened any fire despite the kind of provocation that they have essentially seen uh, from the Russian troops. Uh, let me just quickly take all our viewers through what uh, reports that we are getting right now. As far as the national capital is concerned, uh, of Ukraine, Kiev. Uh, there are certain uh, reports uh, essentially doing the rounds uh, that people have started leaving the city of uh, Kiev uh, from where we were reporting just about uh, 48 hours ago. Uh, let's just quickly take you to take our viewers through the city where we are right now, Kharkiv, uh, which is uh, actually uh, not very far away uh, from the Russian border. Uh, Kharkiv has uh, been uh, a little tense. As you can see, it's four in the morning, but the roads are still a little busy. You you see the car movements uh, that are basically taking place, but uh, I wouldn't really uh, term this uh, grip, uh, you know, term this entire thing as uh, uh, panic at this point in time because a lot of Ukrainians have been saying uh, that they were aware of what is going to happen. Let's just take a, a quick look at the main because what where we are, we are at the heart of uh, Kharkiv, and what you see right now is. Uh, a long line of cars just as we see just down this uh, down this road now uh, we actually haven't really uh, seen the explosion in front of us but uh, reports that have basically come, uh, been doing the runs that explosions have taken place uh, in the city of Kharkiv now that's this is the main road as you can see uh, very early but a lot of car movement already actually taking place uh, taking place now this is an important city of Ukraine apart from Kiev Lviv and uh, uh, Kharkiv happens to be one of the uh, industrial cities of uh, of uh, uh, Ukraine and uh, some uh, city which is uh, closer to Russia so a lot of activities actually taking place uh, from where Republic Media Network is broadcasting at this point in time uh, in fact um, what is going to be important to see is that how exactly is Ukraine going to respond at this point in time with a full-scale military uh, invasion that is actually taking place as we speak uh, with the powers that have been given to the Russian troops uh, by the president of uh, Russia uh, and what the US has basically been warning all this while. If you take a look at the US intelligence reports, uh, uh, there, is, there is a chronology which is basically being followed by the Russian troops, starting from the fact uh, that back in January itself, uh, what, what we have seen, the, uh, in the pretext, uh, in the garb of uh, military uh, drills, uh, Russian troops have been have amassed along the borders of Ukraine, roughly about 1,50,000 troops along the borders of Ukraine, especially uh, where we are. Eastern Ukraine, southeastern uh, Ukraine is where there is a large-scale, uh, remember, large-scale uh, troop movement that has actually uh, taken place. And uh, uh, where we are right now, which is uh, yesterday when we travelled, it took us about four and a half hours to reach the Lohans area, Lohans, the breakaway region there to remember uh, that area was 
earlier, or rather even today, till, till date, the separatists have been controlling it. But now what has happened is that they have got the additional force or the additional backup really being given by the Russian troops. So which means that the Russian troops, uh, which were a little far away, have now come really closer to the Ukrainian border. The other air border from where uh, we reported was uh, Hoptivka. In Hoptivka, which is closer to Belgorod. In Belgorod, satellite imageries have clearly indicated uh, that one, uh, there has been a massive build-up in terms of uh, the armoured vehicles, uh, tanks that have been brought closer to the Ukrainian uh, border, and also a hospital that was built. That has now come uh, under the satellite uh, imagery. Apart from that, take a look at what's really happening up north in Ukraine.